<laughs> Hello, Mark here. Now then, uh, hand painting a glass with PBO paint. Uh, I line it out first with the uh, PBO black liner 160. It basically is the temperature you fire it at in the oven for 40 minutes when you finish to make it set so it's waterproof. And uh, it says it's dishwasher proof, but I would no, I haven't got a dishwasher. I've never tried it personally, but uh, I know the old dishwashers can be a bit fierce. But uh, what I do, in actual fact, you can see here, I know I've speeded it up, is I trace the butterfly by putting actual image inside the glass to keep it in place with some uh, scrunched up kitchen towel. Now the reason I do that is because um, although I do most things freehand, it's a lot quicker and easier to do the wings. I mean the markings, you can make the markings however you want, but if the wings aren't symmetrical on the butterfly then it just doesn't look right. Oh, you would never butterfly one great big wing. <laughs> And one little wing, so uh, it just makes life a lot easier, and that's what we tend to do. And uh, I use on these PBO 160 paints as well as the liners that uh, you get these from most good art shops glass section. I mean you can get glass paint that you don't fire which then you would have to be in a situation where you don't have to just well not get the, the glass wet which is kind of a shame really because uh, you might want to use it as a drinking glass you might want to use it for whatever reason. So that's why I've always used the uh, paint that you fire to make it all simple as that really. And, uh, I tend to draw these freehand, but you could in actual fact use traces to do uh, all your butterflies and all your, well I do with the butterflies, but you could use traces for your flowers as well if you so wished. But uh, I tend to just sort of, uh, well in the interest of speed, basically it's uh, very difficult when you're doing things like this to actually make it a cost effective so you can actually make a profit to sell because uh, they do take sometimes depending on how intricate the design is several hours to paint so if you work on the principle of £10 an hour minimum you could, if you take a day to do something, you could talk about something that should really be so for 80 pounds. And people, as I've discovered, you probably discovered yourselves, aren't prepared to pay that sort of money. They prefer to go to uh, the range or pound land or whatever, which is a shame because uh, we're going to lose a lot of our handcrafted people. Well, I've noticed a good decline already, so maybe too late, but we'll see. Anyway, this will be on the, the, my YouTube channel, which is Mark Grow Art. Same as my Facebook page is Mark Grow Art. Please, if you so desire, send me a friend request on Facebook or subscribe, please, on the uh, YouTube channel. That would be very nice if you do. Okay, well, thank you, and uh, I'll let you just watch what I do, because basically I, all I'm doing now is just painting the glass. And what I, a quick tip, what I tend to do is if I, I tend to start with the white and work through to the dark colours, and uh, I tend to try and paint everything that is white in one go. You can't always do that because you can't always. I'm mean, holding this glass in one hand while I paint. 
<clears throat> but you might find, excuse me, but you might find that uh, you can't own a piece of glass in my hand, which is depending on the size of course, if I do two vases, which is then impossible, so you have to do the whole thing in sections. So you would line, I would line it all out first to make sure that it is how I want it. And then I would paint round in the sections. And, but uh, of course, if you were doing more than one item, then you get to the situation where, because this paint dries quite quickly to the touch. So you could, if you did half a dozen things at the same time, by the time you get to the last one, the first one is dry to move around to the next section, so you can do it that way. So that's, the, anyway, you take care, and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. And uh, happy painting. Any questions, feel free to get in touch. Okay, bye for now.